Hi, I'm Joe Bagley, and you're watching VMware Throwdown. This is where I get to ask the questions no one else dare ask, and hopefully get the answers no one else dare say. My guest today is Stacia Timpanic. She's an expert on all things security here at VMware, apparently. So welcome to the show, Stacia. Hi, Joe. I'm really excited and also petrified at the same time to be here. No worries at all. I'm sure we'll have some fun. So let's get straight to it. So. Doesn't security just get in the way of people being productive? It's that one thing that annoys everyone, right? You're coding and then you've got to worry about security. You're trying to log in and you've got to get that stupid token code or you've got to remember, it's just annoying. That's the feeling, right? I was going to go do something awesome and then security got in the way. Yeah, I do <laughs> think that there are people who have been in security for a while. They don't want to change the, what they're doing, right? They want to stay with the same old, same old. I talk to them all the time, right? Uh, if it ain't broke, I don't, I'm not going to fix it. Right? They're the boring guys. They're the guys that want to say no. They're the guys that want to stop me being inventive and creative. Like in security's defense, a lot of people do stupid stuff um, and stuff that is <laughs> really preventable. As much as, yes, they are a, a police, they're doing it for a good reason. And there's probably things that you could do to help us out so that we're not always coming after you after the fact, right? So like endpoint security, isn't that a solved problem? I mean, like you just install an agent that monitors for antivirus and malware and you're done, right? Like it's not that hard. Yeah, well, do you know what your applications are supposed to be doing from a behavioral day to day, right? Probably not, uh, not until you, you invested in an NGAV vendor. Uh, and so I think that this is a big wake up call for organizations uh, as they're starting to implement these tools, they're finding skeletons in the closet. So I can't tell you how many times, Joe, I talk to people who say, I know this program looks awful. It's flagging all kinds of malicious like alerts, but it's like our proprietary code that someone developed 30 years ago and it's running on an end of life system and we can't, we can't change it. So you just have to work around it. If I've moved all my apps into the cloud, then surely I don't have to worry about security because security is now the problem of like the cloud people, right? It's not my problem. <laughs> Because the cloud is just like, you don't have to manage it now, right? There's nothing you need to do. It's The cloud is just someone else hosting your infrastructure, right? And so at the end of the day, even if you outsource things to Google Drive, even if you outsource things uh, like Salesforce, there are still applications that are going to run natively on every endpoint. Um, and those applications, need we need to make sure that they are behaving quite frankly. So I'm going to challenge you now because VMware keeps saying intrinsic security, intrinsic security. What? 30 seconds or less. What on earth is intrinsic security? Intrinsic security is the idea that security should not be an afterthought. It's like buying a car and then buying the airbag separately. You do not do that, right? You buy the car and hopefully the airbags come with it. It's the idea that security should be intrinsic. It should be included from the get-go. It shouldn't be an afterthought. That's what intrinsic security really is going after. God, I was going to be really evil to you there, and I was going to say answer that without saying the word intrinsic. <laughs> okay, so I've been pretty hard on security folks because they've kind of bugged me my whole life. But what's the one thing that bugs security people like you about normal people like me? Well, I think that it's really frustrating when we're just trying to get past the infrastructure team to say, hey, we want this new technology uh, this is what it's going to look like from an operational perspective. And if there's any change from what they're doing today, we get immediate pushback. They can really be a pain in our rear when we're trying to get that done. Okay, cool. So you've made it this far, and now it's time for the bonus question. I need a cocktail first. Pineapple on pizza. Why is it so wrong? I don't like fruit on my pizza. If I'm going pizza, I'm going all in. I want Pepperoni, I want sausage. It's just wrong. I don't understand why why everyone hates on pineapple on pizzas. Who introduced you to pineapple on pizza? I don't know who introduced me to pineapple on pizza. I feel like a real weirdo did. Fair enough. Brilliant. Stacia, you've been a really good sport. Thank you so much today for coming and taking part in VMware Throwdown. Joe, thanks for having me.